everyone. Welcome back to the BOE Bunker. We're continuing our 31 Days of Horror for 2016 with a movie from 2016. This is 1920 London, brought to us by... Boy, i got to look at this one, because this is Darmendra Suresh Desai. Desai? Um, this is part of the 1920 horror series out of Bollywood. And unfortunately, it is a rather weak showing in the 1920 series. Um, we have the story of Shivangi and Veer, um, a young couple, and Veer becomes possessed by this spirit. And Shivangi has to basically find a way to get him unpossessed. She turns to a Baba by the name of uh, Jay, who is actually an old flame of hers, who was kind of driven away because he was a commoner and she's a princess. Um, this movie... <sighs> Okay, it's Bollywood, so I expect the fact that there's going to be a little bit of things that I'm not used to seeing in, in horror films. And I want it to be a little bit different in some of the horror films I approach this year, and not just go for the ones I always go for. And I wanted to mix it up a bit. This is definitely mixing it up a bit. Um, there, there's things that are good with the movie. Um, it's His name is uh, Sharman Joshi, who plays Jay. Actually does a really good job as that character. Um, however, the woman playing uh, Shivangi, uh, Mira Chopra, I don't know if, if this movie, she just seems to have the emotional range of a turnip. Um, just, you know, it's every time she's scared, it's really, I'm not buying it. It's like, you know, Kristen Stewart shows more emotion than this woman does. Um, and Kristen Stewart asleep shows more emotion than this woman does. Um, there's some of the setting stuff I like, but this is supposed to be historical, and I like historical stuff. However, uh, if you're going to go historical, I want you to commit to that period. Don't try to cheat it by having like cars that aren't even close. To, I mean, I'm not going to be like the, well, this is at 1924, and that type of car wasn't released until 1926. I'm talking like, no, it's supposed to be like 1920s-ish London, and you're showing cars that like, you know, don't come around for like another 20 years and just outfits that make no sense at all for the time period or, you know, dude living out in, you know, a tiny hollow middle of nowhere but, you know, apparently gets his suits dry cleaned somewhere because he's wearing, like, you know, top of the line, like, modern day clothing. Like, not like, you know, oh yeah, they had that 1920s. This is like, no, this is what I would expect to see, like, in an Urban Outfitters catalog. Um, so stuff like that really kind of bugged me and took me out of the story. And it's going to want a 10. This is... No, I understand, as I said, it's Bollywood. But it's like they, they took, like, insert generic possession movie here, intersperse it with, you know, some bad 1980s VH1 videos. Because Bollywood, so you have to have some song numbers, you know? You have to have these musical bits. And Anderson is kind of uh, a thing with a lot of films from there. So if that's what people want, fine. It really kind of takes you out of, of you know, this being like a horror story. We're also going to have this, like, you know, little upbeat kind of loving dubby musical number. It just doesn't seem to fit the theme of the film. Um, so this one just left kind of a, a, a blah taste of mouth. It was way, way too long uh, for, I mean, generally horror movies, I don't see a reason why horror movies have to be coming up on the two hour mark unless they're really telling a good story and generally your typical evil spirit possesses someone we have to get the evil spirit out of the someone doesn't usually go for a really long story so this one just it really dragged a lot and I mean, part of that is you know cut out these musical numbers and cut out some of the numerous flashbacks and just get on with the actual story I mean there's some good story in there but it's just not fully realized. Um, so, and there's some awful CG. These crows that are just terrible. And I mean, just not like a you know. Oh well, you know, it's Bollywood. So I'm, now I've I've seen good CG out of Bollywood. This is just like you know, Hitchcock's The Bird level CG birds. And I mean, it's and actually those were better because those were actual birds. Um, but yeah, this one just. Ah, for, for the 1920 series, I mean, I liked the first one. I saw the first one uh, about a year or so back, and I enjoyed that one, but this one just fell way, way short of that. So uh, that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.